What's going on, YouTube? This is Daniel from Salty Dog Homestead. Going to do a quick homestead tour with you today. Going to try to keep it short and sweet so I won't cover everything on the homestead, but I'll try to hit most points, okay? Right here are the marigolds. This is right off the back patio of the house. Um, so this is the marigolds and the collards. we got collards right there. Got them all running on a timer. I run it a couple times a day. Got strawberries here. I don't have anything right here right now. I did over the spring and summer have some tomatoes over there. Right here. We got some peppers. Peppers are still going strong. We got sweet banana peppers. We got uh, black Hungarian peppers right here. And I can't remember the name of these peppers off the top of my head. Right here I did have zucchini. And right now I just planted yesterday some Swiss chard, kale, Mizuna and arugula. So I'm looking forward to that. Next, we'll go over to the pasture. That's the umami garden. Rabbits and chickens over there. That's the garden that we just looked at and the little raised beds with the collards in it over there. Just to orient you a little bit. Um, over there, on the other side of the property over there, I'm gonna do corn in the spring. So I gotta get that all worked up and tilled up and ready to go. We'll go look at the umami garden. All right, umami garden. The door used to be the door to the to the house when I bought it. Got that skeleton key on there. They didn't have a key to it, so it was permanently locked. So I swapped out the door and figured it'd be cool to use it out here. Um, and here's the umami garden. The this is a, just a, what do you call it spinach that just hasn't died yet. It's still going pretty strong, actually. It's good stuff there. Um, got some carrots in this bed. I don't know if you can see. Let me see. Some of them just germinated. Try to get that in focus. All right. Um, so still working on germination over here. But it's gonna be a whole big old bed full of carrots. We got flowers over here. Balsam is the name of the flower. And I don't know if they're gonna do anything, you know, this year because it's already, you know, too late in the year, but we'll see. Right here, I'm gonna put collards. Probably put about a hundred collard plants in here. Trying to do a production level of collards this year. They um I've already tilled, no, I, I, I take that back. I have not tilled this up yet. I have amended it with rabbit manure. So I'm waiting for it to dry out a little bit, which is why I put those tarps on it. And those tarps also kill some of the weeds in there. And then I'm going to till, the, uh, till the manure in once I'm ready to plant over here. Don't know what I'm going to do with this bed right here just yet. Um, I'll figure it out. Probably some kind of leafy veg. Back here, I got two trellises. Trellis number one. Trellis number two. Um, normally, I put... Obviously, I put vining stuff on here. But... Um, I am... Not putting anything here for the fall. And I will just do... Cucumbers... Over here... Next spring. Gonna put more collards here. Try to put another hundred collard plants in here. 
Over here, we got some sage and some carrots. And I planted some carrots here a few days ago. So we're waiting for them to germinate. And that is pretty much the umami garden. I love this little area here. It's just, it's got great energy. All right, right here we have our first tree. It's a persimmon tree. And I have it right here by the redneck blind, hoping for a nice bow shot to right here out of that corner window. This persimmon tree didn't do so well, so I'm gonna take all that up. <clears throat> this persimmon tree is persimmon tree number two. Uh, I gotta get some water on this one today. I gotta get some water on all of them today. I'll come back out here and do that. All right, this is the apple tree. Red Delicious, I think it is. Yep, Red Delicious. It's taller than me, so it's six, six and a half foot, maybe. All right. This is the food plot. We'll do another video about the food plot, but it's looking great, actually. Other apple tree right up here. It's really tall too. It's taller than that other one, just not as full. And uh, it's looking great. And that's another tree within bow, sh bow shot. So um, hopefully we get some good action over here and I can uh, get a good bow shot from the redneck. All right, there go the chickens. Happy chickens live here. Let's go ahead and here real quick. Hey there. So that chicken is a Buff Brahma. That is a Gold Lace Wyandotte. Uh, Rhode Island Red. A Blue Laced Red Wyandotte. Same ones over there. I got some Anconas, Anconas in here somewhere. Uh, the black one way back there, black and white. That's an Ancona or Ancon. Uh, got some mamas in there. Oh, got the two other Ancons in here. And last but not least are the rabbits. Just built this lean-to over here and put the rabbits under there. They are loving it. You can just feel a different energy. They aren't as stressed as they were. You can see that he's not breathing too hard. You know, normally they'd be really panting real hard. It's about, uh, about 90 degrees out right now. And uh, they'd be feeling it, but they're just kind of breathing like normal. So this right here, is a boy so i have three three bucks and five female if you haven't seen the video on the watering system please go check it out it has been a game changer um i really really love it let's see if i can get you over here now this one's panting just a little bit more, but still not as bad as it as they used to be. That's old ears over there. Let me see if I can get in here, show you ears. That's ears right there. <clears throat> and that right there, Josephine. She's the she's the mama rabbit. <laughs> She hasn't, uh, she was actually given to me from Comfort Farms. They retired her. Um, I haven't bred her or anything like that, but I just gave her that name and she is, she is the lady over here. If you have any questions about any of this, the rabbits, the chickens, if you got any questions about them, uh, or the gardens even, please comment below. Let me know. Let's, let's talk about it, okay? Just wanted to briefly go over this area right here. Sorry about the mess. I just moved the rabbits, so I got to clean all this up. 
the rabbits were here. But now that I've moved them, the next project is to build a chicken coop eight by eight out here on the outside and take that one that's inside apart so they can have the whole run in there to do what they want and just give them more room and more room inside the actual coop itself. Well, that's it for the video. That's it for the tour. I appreciate you. If, you, if you're still hanging out here, I really appreciate that. Please go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button share it if you'd like i'm not in it for all the you know all the monetary and all that stuff i just want to connect with my community you know meet with like-minded people and just kind of improve my craft um basically also i want you to know that you know everything that's done around here is done on a budget you know i'm i'm a retired soldier um I live off of my pension and I run all this off of that as well. So all the feed, all everything, you know, it's, it's on a budget. So anything that I get, anything that gets built out here, I, I build it, you know, um, anything that needs to get done out here, I do it. I don't source anything out. Um, there's nothing done for the cameras or anything like that. Okay. I don't have time to sit here and make things look pretty so that they look good for the camera what you should get from my videos is how the ordinary normal person goes about homesteading it's not a big homestead right now but i am growing it day day by day i'm taking steps to make it bigger and bigger and better like i said this year i'm doing the collards I'm doing those on a production level, so I will be selling collards this year. I may also be selling more more things, but at least for sure, I'm, I'm selling collards this year. But anyway, hey, y'all better get me off of here because I can sit here and ramble on forever. You know what I'm saying? I don't get to talk to too many people, but my animals and, my, and well, my dog, I was going to say my animals and my dog, but my dog's an animal too. So. <laughs> But, uh, but uh, you know, they don't get to talk back to me. So uh, y'all ain't talking back to me either. But comment below so that we can have a conversation. But uh, anyway, I appreciate you guys. And that's it for now. I'll probably do another video, you know, in the next week or two on me starting the chicken coop over here. So if you got any questions, please hit me up below. Other than that, I appreciate you staying here. I'm going to stop rambling now. Y'all have a great day. Salty Dog Homestead out.